Hi, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm so sorry for this video being up so late into the month already, but I didn't set this up until yesterday, actually. So, I filmed all of yesterday, and I've been editing this video today, and basically I'm doing the same theme as I did for January, but you guys haven't seen this theme yet, because all of that footage was lost. Uh, that's right, I said lost. Long story short, I now have a new computer and it's working marvelously. But I feel like every time I tell you guys that things are finally slowing down, something major just happens and delays everything. Um, so I'm really sorry that I've been MIA. I've been struggling on multiple planes <laughs> with multiple different things. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and I am trying to make the best of it, so it's already February 10th, but here's my February plan with me. Uh, I'm so in love with this theme. It's, uh, I love it. It's so minimalistic and just gorgeous, 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 and I love it. I really wanted to keep things simple, and as I said, I wasn't really planning on setting this up this month. Basically because I didn't really utilize last month's layout, except for the expenses spread, uh, which is my lifesaver and I love it. <laughs> Uh, but I feel like I could really use the structure, so I decided to set this up even though it's already so late in the month. And I also want to show you guys that even though it's already a week and a half into the month, you can you can still bullet journal. Uh, the whole point with a bullet journal is that it's on your terms and it's supposed to be what you need it to be. So, if you want to start in the middle of the month, you start in the middle of the month. If you want to start the last day in the month, you start on the last day in the month, you know? Just because a majority of people do it a certain way doesn't mean you have to. So, just make it your own and do whatever you need to do, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> So yeah, these flowers, I just love the look of them. Uh, basically, to set all of this up, I'm using three different pens. I'm using the Pigma Micron PN with a plastic nib, which I love. For the writing of numbers and smaller things like that, I am using the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in the size XS. And for all of the shading of the flowers and stuff like that, I'm using my Tombow Dual Brush Pen in the shade N95 and that's that's all i'm using to set this up except for well a ruler um the paper i'm using is my own uh 170 gsm five millimeter dot grid a5 planner inserts i will have a link in the description box down below uh, to my etsy shop if you're interested in getting these they also come in a 3.5 millimeter dot grid so it's i i love these papers i really do um, <laughs> a little side note on the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. I love this shade. It's a really, really light grey shade. And you can really build up the colour. And that way you can get like this kind of fading transition look. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Uh, but basically I love this pen and I use it all the time. And at the end of this video, you're gonna see me struggling so much because it's it's drying out on me, it's dying, and I need to buy a new one. Um, that's how much I love it. I, I ran out of ink. Um, maybe we should get into what I'm doing in this video. Uh, first, you saw me setting up my uh, calendar spread, and it's just a simple standard calendar layout. Uh, right now I'm working on my habit tracker that I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, um, <laughs> maybe, I'm, I'm gonna try to get in the habit of actually using my habit tracker, and that sounds so silly, but that's, that's the way it is. For a good period of time, I didn't even include a habit tracker in my monthly setup. Uh, just because, you know, I didn't use it, so I'm gonna try to get into the habit of using the habit tracker so I can get into even healthier habits. 
that's that's my goal for the rest of the month and next month um so yeah let's let's see how that goes shall we um i'm also doing a page for notes because i have a new job <laughs> And I'm currently working in two different places and I'm trying to juggle uh, my YouTube channel and there's a few like big changes happening so I'm really excited and I'm really focusing on getting more of a social media presence so I'm, I'm really excited and just oh this year is gonna be a good one you know uh, so yeah, basically I need a notes page just to jot down anything and everything and organize stuff that maybe uh, the rest of the spreads of the month doesn't really cover. So this way I just have some wiggle room and I think that's what I need right now just to find a structure that actually works. So this way I can just experiment my way into finding that exact structure that I need. Right now you can see me working on my expenses page along with my budget envelope system. Uh, this is the one constant thing that I... I uh, it's my bullet journal essential. Uh, and this is something that I include every month, even if I maybe like fall behind for a few days or something, I always catch up with this spread. Maybe not so much all of the other spreads, but... Um, these spreads I'm always like on top of and they help me so much in just keeping a quite strict budget and you know just knowing that I have enough money to cover all of my expenses and still can do fun things and buy art supplies and stuff like that so yeah if you want more information as of how I use the spread I will have a link in the description box down below uh, it's called uh, like economy and finance ideas for your bullet journal and in that video I go through step by step exactly how I utilize this along with a bunch of other bullet journal economy and finance spreads too so so if that is something that you'd be interested in the link will be in the description box down below and if you're only interested in you know this monthly setup uh you can just fast forward i think it's the very last spread that i go through in that video so if you don't want to watch through the whole thing just just fast forward until the end okay you guys um <laughs> i'm still struggling so hard with this art block thing happening and i'm in this weird awkward place where i like I choose not to draw because I'm scared I'm not gonna like what I draw if if that makes any sense to anyone um, I'm not sure if that's relatable at all or maybe it's just me um, but basically I'm <sighs> I need a push <laughs> I need someone to just like just just do it just do it and you can do it and basically what i'm asking is for ideas to draw and maybe a theme for next month so if there's any theme that you would like to see me create next month please let me know in the comments down below uh, along with you know if there's anything else that you would like to see on my channel and i will do my very very best to make that happen uh, also stay tuned for Wednesday because on Wednesday I'm posting a video and I am also going to host a giveaway. Um, <laughs> I'm really bad at keeping secrets so I'm telling you this now to tune in on Wednesday but I'm not going to tell you what the giveaway is. Um, I'm going to keep a little bit of the mystery. I can tell you that it's watercolor related. It's a really awesome giveaway. So. Uh, yeah, if you like watercolors and you like free stuff <laughs> and you don't mind me rambling uh, about random stuff, just tune in on Wednesday, okay? Okay, okay, I'll see you then. Well, that is actually all I have for you guys today. Here is a final flip through of all of the spreads for this monthly setup. Uh, my voice keeps cracking and I'm really sorry about that. I don't I don't know why I haven't talked too much today so I, I just keep rambling and I'm sorry. Uh, 
anyway guys thank you so much for watching i love having you guys here and i will see you on wednesday thank you for watching and happy planning bye